Let's start by putting a very simple question to you, my dear brothers and sisters. How many pounds do you have? And I'm not talking about what is around our waist. I'm talking about the gifts, the talents, and the charisms that the Lord has blessed you with. That is the interpretation of today's gospel, almost identical to the one we heard on Sunday, which spoke about talents. So the first question we can ask ourselves is, have I identified my gifts and talents? Quite often, my dear brothers and sisters, they are remaining there within us, unearthed. A great treasure that lies within each one of us, waiting to be tapped, waiting to be used. So the first point is, have I at least identified what my gifts and talents are? The second is, if I've identified it, good. What am I doing with these gifts and talents? They're there. They're lying there in cold storage. I know I'm a good singer. I know I'm a good speaker. Perhaps I know I'm good with management skills. Am I using these gifts and talents? Or do they just remain there in cold storage unused? This would be the tragedy of the unopened gift. A gift that was given to us by God, which has never been opened or used. The third is, if I am using these gifts and talents, great. We need to be applauded. But, here comes the question. Am I using them for my own selfish glory, so that people will give me all the praise? Or am I using it for God's greater glory? Because these gifts have been given to me by God. Each of us, my dear brothers and sisters, who have been blessed with so many gifts and talents, need to unearth these, need to use them, but use them so that we can sing God's praises and we can give back to God what truly belongs to God. What we are, my dear brothers and sisters, is God's gift to us. What we become is our gift back to God. I pray that each of us truly and wisely use all our talents and gifts. The danger is what we hear in the last part of the Gospel. Who has will be given more. To everyone who has will be given more. From the man who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The danger is the gifts, the talents, the charisms that we're blessed with. If we don't start using them, they're going to be taken away from us and given to those who are worth giving it to, who are truly been blessed and using their God-given talents for God's greater glory. God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.